students at St. Patrick High School are encouraging others to experiment in science. Juniors Madeline Dickinson and Adler Brogdon are both headed to Los Angeles for the International Science Fair. Dickinson put together a therapy for double digit dyslexia and Brogdon studied the effectiveness of the Hudanga vaccines. It's the third trip to the event for Dickinson and says this year's project is because of her brother who has dyslexia. Bogdan is in her second year and says dengue fever has so many names and effects, research needs to be done on that. I want to inspire other kids who are in elementary school now to focus on the science fair. When I was in fourth grade and I started it, I didn't realize how big of a deal it was gonna be. And then I got to my ninth grade and I was going to Atlanta and then Dallas and now Los Angeles for my science fair. And I feel like nobody really understands what you can do with your science fair project and how important it is. I really want to empower young girls in STEM because women in STEM is such a big thing now and sometimes there are so many roadblocks that you hit. I've hit them myself of, well, you know, we usually prefer another applicant and I want to empower them that those roadblocks are not stop signs, they're just yield signs. You can completely continue moving even after you hit them, even if it's taking another route. It's a good analogy there. The regional science fair director says 15 out of the 1700 students in the world going to LA are from the state of Mississippi. It's pretty strong. Congrats to both ladies, Madeline and Adler. So is it